Good comments. The Honourable Member for Battle River Crowfoot. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I, I listened with great interest both to this speech and the uh, the speech previously, and 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 specifically his impassioned explanation of 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 of, in, of Indigenous history that needs to be told. But my my concern is is that uh, allowing the state to determine what, and in this case, the CRTC as an agent of the state, to prioritize what content meets a a, a certain certain satisfactory requirement to be prioritized in the next to play or the algorithm that that uh, that shows up in someone's feed is what the concern is and if the state for example was to try and diminish some of its history then it would put the very content that he is so uh, uh, passionately defending at risk of being silent so so I'm just curious as to how that member would reconcile some of the concerns that have been been outlined with this bill about the possibility of state intervention uh, and specifically with the Liberals being able to determine what that may or may not be how he reconciles that with the need to ensure that there is actual uh, freedom of expression so that these voices can be heard and and in in the example that he shared that this Canadian history can be told and access the uh, honorable member for Nanaimo Ladysmith well, look, the CRTC has not silenced speech in the past, and all you need to do is look at Rick Mercer's show. He made fun of politicians and governments freely and had no problem. He was never censored. I find it hilarious to hear the previous Conservative speaker say that he's never read the, the bill or the act, but he doesn't trust it because the Liberals put it forward. And what you need to know as Conservatives is that the 1991 Act was created by the Mulroney government, the Mulroney Conservative government. And it quite clearly states in that Act, and this remains in the Act, this Act shall be construed and applied in a manner that is consistent with freedom of expression and journalistic creative and programming independence enjoyed by broadcasting undertakings. That's the language of the Conservative bill that was established in 1991. It remains in this act, and we still have freedom of speech under the Broadcasting Act. 